What is going on, everybody? This is Trader Josh, okay? I want to let you guys know a couple things before I get started with this video. As always, okay, as always, I want to let you guys know. I always let you guys know for those of you who don't know, okay? God loves you, okay? All of you, too, by the way. And also, one thing I want to get out the way real quick before we start this video. I, I want I like to be, you know, positive in all aspects in life, okay? I like to help out in all aspects in life, okay? So I want to tell you guys something. First off, let's just let me put this down and I'm gonna tell you guys, okay, look. I feel like everybody needs to go get you some weights. Okay, this is fifteen pounds right here. This is fifteen pounds, okay? Fifteen. Okay, not much, but you're gonna do so many reps with this thing. That it don't matter how much you got, okay? It don't matter how much pounds you got. Then when you put this down, you need to get up. You need to get up. Go ahead and get you a bar. Do do as many as you can until you get tired, okay? And see, I'm not being serious right now, but I will, you know, get into this, okay? But on top of all that... On top of all that, it all starts in the mind, okay? You're not going to ever do it if you don't say you're going to do it first, okay? And then also, you got to be a man of your word, okay? Simple, okay? I normally get the 15-pound dumbbell, and I do 15, 15, all the way down to 1, 14, 14, 13, 13, 12, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10. You get it, okay? And that's 120. Then I get the bar. I don't know if the bar weighs 30 pounds. It definitely don't feel like it weighs 40, but it weighs something. It got a little weight to it. Go ahead and do 120 of them too. If you could do 120, 15, 15, you could do 120 straight, okay? Then go ahead and get down and do 120 push-ups, okay? Because, look, you ain't going to be all big and, you know, one day, but it'll come. I'm telling you, it will come. Okay, just don't slack. Okay, I've been slacking. I've been slacking a lot of things. Okay, but I got a lot going on. Okay, so just let's let's get into this video. Okay, HUBC. For those of you who do know, I have been watching this since they were listed on the Nasdaq back in March. Let me see. What is hub? Boom, boom. Let me see. Let me go to. I'm pretty sure the company. Okay, pretty announced. Hmm. Okay, so they were listed in March. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Okay, guys, so just give me a break here. I did make a lot more slides, so I don't really want to read every single one of them because of where the price is right now. But one thing for sure that I will do, I'm going to go over everything right now. I'm also going to, first of all, let me let you guys know. Look at that bad man. For you army guys out there, I tried to make it as less creasy as I could, okay? I wanted it to be nice and straight. I even patented it out for you guys. I patted it, you know, down. I didn't want any army recruits, you know, watching the video saying, Damn it, boy! You better fix that bed! You know, whatever they say to you guys out there. But with that being said, let's get a quick run through of these. And then let's let's figure out what is going on with this bad boy. Okay, because we we are pulling up, but I wanted to come back to this one to let you guys know, look, I'm not running away from stocks, okay? I've, I've had a lot going on, okay? I've been talking about this since they were listed. Believe me when I tell you, I will come back and I always will, okay? Believe me, okay? I always come back. If, if I'm gone for a while, just know something drastic has happened. Okay, because YouTube is my thing. You see how many videos I got up, man. You see how much time I've put into YouTube for me to just stop and cold turkey quit right now? Nah, that ain't Trader Josh, man. I'm going to be here for the long haul. Okay, guys? So, I'm going to give you guys a quick run through of the slides real quick. And then we're going to read some charts. Okay, we're going to read what exactly do I think is going down right now. Okay? Okay, so let's go through 
A lot of these are old news if you have been watching since they were listed. Watching my videos since they were listed. You have heard all this. Okay, so H Hubsy was listed March 1st, 2023. Okay, so this was 28 days after they were listed when I made this second slide right here. Okay, so Pub has over 500 million in signed government contracts and major clients, clients for its services, including the Pentagon, Lockheed Martin, NASA, Visa, and many others. Okay, so that is who you came for right here. This slide right here, this slide right here, Okay, now, now, now that is who you're listening to talk right now. All right, I'm gonna just tell you guys a couple things. That's this last slide. Okay, let's 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 talk. Okay, Hub Security receives Nasdaq notification regarding. I'm gonna skip all that other good news and we're gonna go straight to the recent news. Okay, because none of that matters honestly. Hub Security receives Nasdaq notification regarding minimum bid price requirement. And I know I'm a little late on this. Okay, guys, give me a break. I told you. Okay, the company has been provided with an additional, with an initial 180 calendar days. Okay, so wait a minute. December 6, 2023. With an initial. Okay, not an additional, but an initial. Okay, so they can still get an additional. Ending on December 6, to regain compliance with the minimum bid price. Okay, so most likely they can still get a, you know, get an extra extension. Okay, but I t like you guys know, every time news comes out on a stock, I will do my, I will do a video. Okay, news came out. Now, guys, let's, let's look, let's look up something. One day ago, if you, if you look, HB stock news. Okay, this is how I do it. I type in the ticker symbol, stock news, go right here to news. And then I look, okay, that was one month ago. You see, I've already opened it. This was March 3rd. I didn't feel like that was worth opening. You know, that was March 3rd. Come on now. But the rec the most recent post that we got, and you see the dates right here now, right here, guys. Okay, so look, the most recent post we got was from one day ago. Okay, and it says the NASDAQ market lists some of the biggest companies in the world and attracts a million of millions of investors every day okay so what does that mean so we know that hubc is right here on the list so we scroll down what are they saying about hubc okay they're saying the company is involved in the development of confidential computer computing cyber security services and solutions although there was no material news about the company on monday the stock was in action and ended up with gains of 15.50 percent on june 13 hub security limited had announced that it had been notified by the nasdaq stock market that it was no longer compliant with one of the listing rules on the exchange okay the company was in violation since the minimum bid price of its stock had gone below $1 over the previous 30 business days. The per share minimum bid price for the stock was $1 for continued listing on the exchange. The notification did not have any immediate effect on the listing status of the stock. Hub Security has been provided with a period of 180 calendar days to regain compliance, and it would end on December 6, 2023. So one thing I do wanna tell you guys real fast, real quickly i did not put these lines up too long ago okay i did not put them up i definitely did not put them up on monday okay this week i haven't done anything since saturday okay i haven't posted no video since saturday or sunday one of one of them one of the one of the two but that's four days okay guys so i definitely I want to go ahead and apologize for that first, okay? You guys are very important to me. I did miss a lot of things. But I want you to know when I'm here, we're going to make a lot of money, okay? So when I'm here, it's going to make up for the time that I'm going, okay? So let's just get that out there. But one thing I know for sure is I put these lines up somewhere since July 3rd, okay? So somewhere, somewhere from July 3rd until now, within the last 15 days, Okay. I put this chart, I'll call it up. And I've been 
just watching to see, okay, how many times will we break above and will we ever go under? Okay, so we did go under. We're breaking above a little more times than we're going under. Okay, so one thing I will say with this one being, with this one being newly listed on the market and all, I haven't, I haven't ever really done an analysis on it because it's really too, you know, it's too brand new to even do anything with. Okay. And I, I've just been watching it, you know, I put, I put the lines probably, probably around right here because I seen we, or, or even right here, maybe, maybe, maybe on the 13th, I did that, that, that could be very possible. Or also it could have been on the 5th. Because we tapped it two times. I can't remember when I put these up. So I'm honestly going to have to watch a couple more days. But I definitely know whenever I did this, this was a very smart decision. Because it's definitely showing the trend that we were in. And the trend that we were going to be in. I don't think we'll be in this trend long. But I definitely I definitely am a little iffy on this one. But I think that. With them being newly listed and, you know, the market not knowing what all they could do, we could we could see anything with this one. OK, and honestly, I would not be I would not be disappointed to buy in right now at 40 cents. And I don't think it's much of a much of a wish to hope for three dollars again. OK, because we know we were there. We know we've been there. And if I'm not mistaken. We were listed, HUBC was listed at somewhere around $3. And if I'm right, I don't think we broke above it, but I could be wrong. So let's see. HUBC. <laughs> okay, so 52-week high, which would be the all-time high because we've never, we've never broken above that okay or i mean 52 weeks 52 week high is the all-time high because are you serious is the all-time high because they hadn't even been around 52 weeks okay so we know we've been at three dollars and ten cents so let me go ahead and change that real quick three point ten that's the 52 week high now so so look that means 28 days after they were listed, they were at 197. That's when this slide right here was made 28 days later. Okay. So we know that they they went up to 310 before. So honestly, I don't feel like it would be much of a stretch to say, hey, I hope for $3 again. You know, because we really don't know if this thing can just shoot from 40 straight to 90, you know, in, in five seconds and from 90 to nine dollars we don't know that okay but one thing we do know is they were just listed and most likely everything's gonna froze I mean uh, look at that look at my face right here man I hope it's just the screen. All right, well, I'm going to get this I'm going to get this video out the way. Okay, but look. HBC. Keep in mind they were just listed on the market. You don't know how many you don't know how many ways this could go and really nobody does. But more risk more reward. That's all I'll say, okay? You guys, I'm not telling you about, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm telling you I'll I'll buy some, you know, and I'll watch it, and hopefully I make some money on it. Okay, but honestly, I feel like we should really watch it for a while because, like I said, we really don't know what could happen. I think I would hate to say I should watch it for a while and then it goes to three dollars, and I say, well, I could have ten times my money, you know, but. I don't want to get too much into that, you guys, okay? I love you guys, okay? God does too. And FFIE, FFIE, guys, 
video is coming soon on FFIE. Okay, sometime today I will be dropping a video on FFIE. But let me got let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And without no further ado, this is Trader Josh, and I will see you guys when I see you guys in my next Trader Josh episode.